This is Writers of the Lost Sword. This week's coverage is Kamen Rider Shin. The hero of the movie? Can, can he be considered a hero? Legitimate question here. Well, he did my, kill, like... My, my, my question is, I, I actually brought this up earlier, is was he actually the villain in the beginning, or was it just the doctor that was working with his father, and he was getting, I, like, I, I, connection with it? I thought that was him, because he referenced having those memories and dreams of it. Like, they alluded it to it being him at the beginning. You know, murdering people. Uh, but like, like I said, though, they, like, uh, when he starts talking to the, when he's about ready to quit because he thinks he's the one doing it, the guy's like, well, uh, insects have this telepathy that, like, they, they, like, get the whole connection with each other and they, they like, see what everyone else sees. And, like, in the beginning of the movie, Every time the Kamen Rider kills, he sees a yellow tent. Later on in the movie, you just see him battling as himself. That's what I mean. I don't know. I really don't. The, it, it could go either way. I, I think it's him. Yeah. And but, the, like I said, the first time you, you really see him transform, though, is after that doctor that w- was caught in the fire. They blew up the, t- blew up the, the, whatever it was, as he's fighting, and then after that happens, that's when he be- transforms for the first time you see. So it could go you know, either way with that. Yep. Can we just put it out there? He has an ugly fucking transformation. Oh yeah, I, I showed the, the, some gifts to my friends. It's like, that's kind of disgusting how his, how his head inflates and deflates. And the thing with the jaw, it splits open like a predator. Like, this is the most uncommon writery movie I think I've seen. Because there's no belt, there's no real henshin. They never say henshin. It's... there. He's not even a masked writer. I don't know why they call him that. He has no mask. Well, it's it, It's his fucking face. Well, it was kind of the same thing with the Black series for the manga. He was he was uh, so-called Kamen Rider Black, but he kind of transformed the same way that Shin did. Yeah, but his at least was evocative of armor, not, you know, mutant shit. You no, know, in the manga, it was still kind of like this big black creature-like thing. Oh, he looked different in the manga? Oh yeah, uh, by the way, the person that made the manga was Shitoro Ishinomori, the guy that made the series to begin okay. with. So you still you get to see his old art style, like how he did in um, Cyborg Skull Zero, Man. Skull Man, Cyborg Zero Zero Nine, huh. you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. And originally, Shin was supposed to be called Kamen Rider Gaia. I think I, I would much prefer Gaia because the dude's name is Shin. Yeah. And his common writer name is Shin. That's like saying, oh, my name's Bob, and I turn into common writer Bob. <laughs> you, you just can't have and, your normal name. Uh, one thing I, work. I, I thought of, too, the main villains are the villains at the end of them. It sort of reminded me of, like, the younger Takuro brother from Yu Yu Hakusho, like, the big muscles and He's, like, supposed to be an android and shit. Oh, and also, by the way, uh, Ishin Nomori actually showed up in this movie. Yeah, he was at the very beginning, wasn't he? Yeah, he was the guy with the big giant shades that put that little black thing underneath the table. That's what I thought. It was, what Yeah, I, that was pretty cool for a cameo. I, but, I do see how that thing um did remind you of El Nicobaro. Right. I wish I knew who that this was. Movie. Watch Yu Yu Hakusho. It is damn good anime. I saw up to the part where Kuwabara was fighting this one guy with a spirit sword on a on in a castle, and then I that's not very far. Yeah, I didn't. I couldn't really see much of it because it was late at night, and I was still in school. You have the internet. You have no excuse to not. I know, I know, I know. I can watch it now, but it's going to be very jarring, jarring for me. I I try not to watch anything that was made in the 
90s, which is kind of a stupid excuse. Oh, oh I understand. Uh, I had trouble watching this just because of the low production values. But oh, like, yeah. if you like Dragon Ball Z, you will like Yu Yu Hakusho. It is a very good shonen. But um, on to the current ugly topic. Like, it's... Oh, it is so hard to, like, understand how this was a common... Like, what made them choose to make this the common Rider? It feels like a dark, gritty, mid-2000s reboot of a 90s show, but it's like a 80s sequel to a 70s show instead. Well, and it also it also sort of remind me of the Guyver movies that were American made with like the first one with Mark Hamill and that kind of stuff. That's what the kind of feel I got from it too. I honestly got a little bit of Amazon vibes from this. Was the original Amazon that bloody though? Um, not not exactly. They showed blood. It was more like macaroni and cheese. Yeah, this is yeah, it's straight up blood. <laughs> stuff squirting out of every. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just... just so jarring that this is what they decided to make as a common writer. Yeah. And that's just weird. Yeah. I mean, like, and even the story gets confusing. Like, who the fuck is this organization? Is it Shocker? Is it Foundation X? What the shit is it? That well, was one of the questions I had too. Was like, what the hell is it? Shocker? Is it Neo Shocker? Um, like, it seems like it was in America too. With the, the fact that he's supposed to be in the U.S. Navy, Shin is, I think. What was that? Can was that? Did they mention him being in the Navy? Because he has dog tags, he has Navy and Air Force stuff all over his jacket. But I don't remember them saying he served. And it couldn't be Japanese since they don't have a formal army. They just have the Japan Fence Force. Yeah, it doesn't even say anything in in the Wikipedia. It just like it, or or the Wikia. Is he just a military otaku? Yeah. That, that would be fine. It's just a, a answer some questions, please. I believe so. I I have a dire need to know what went on in this weird little movie. Um. Yeah, he's just. He just has that stuff. So he might just be a military stuff. Yes? Yeah, see, you don't even know, and you probably watched it a few hours ago, like me. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. And, uh, another weird thing was the whole skinny dipping in the gym pool. I was like, what the hell? And then, all of a sudden, yeah, she's like, pregnant I now. Turned ar- I-, I turned around, and I'm like, why the fuck are they skinny dipping? Why are there boobies in my common room? And then, like, later, oh, apparently common Riders don't use protection, and they're quite virile, and damn, that is one ugly plastic baby. Yeah. Like, holy shit. I'm sorry, but if that was my baby, if, if, if I made a girl pregnant with that, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing in the stomach because that's an abomination, and it doesn't need to exist. And this guy is official. He does have his own writer card, wizard ring, and a mock seed. Yes, he does. They, they they don't exactly pay tribute to him a lot, but when they do, it's in official stuff. Heck, he's been in the crossover movies, but, you yeah. know, in the background where yeah. no one can notice him. Yeah, yeah there's, there's this uh, little meme picture that, that says, Hey, guys, how's it going? Should I be here? Yeah, I should be here. I shouldn't be no. here. No, Shin, you shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah, and I love the fact that the girl he got pregnant is like, you must vow to me that you will make sure this baby survives <laughs> even if I die and all this other stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Like, did anyone notice that her name is I and she is the love interest? Isn't that a little spot on? Yes. I literally means is the word for love in Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, the, in all the notes, is like, yeah, he's the 13th writer, the 13th Showa writer, uh, showed up, shows up in All Writers vs. Die Shocker. Don't watch that movie. Just, is that the one with Deno in it? 
or uh, O's in dental? I don't know. All, all I, I know is that there's uh, time travel like fuckery in it. That yeah, then Deno's definitely in it. Yeah. Um. Uh, he's been a father himself. He does. He does not have a writer machine. Even though he has a card and a lock seed. Most likely, also has a Gaia memory too. I don't know. I uh, when buying my Gaia memory, they I I never saw one with Shin on it. Hmm. I'd really be surprised if he didn't have one though, because they made a memory of practically everyone. Yeah, I mean, th- there is a um, collection of YouTube videos where it's like all the. Special, all the writers and their special gimmick toys on other rider stuff. Hmm. Like, uh, signal bikes for drive, slash mock, but mostly mock. Um, lock seeds, icons, what have you. E- even coins and switches. Yeah, they had a lot of random, um, uh, raw medals from O's for different people. Yeah. Because of the O's Forze movie. Yeah. Which wasn't that bad. For, for my it was, side. I liked it. But it, it, I think it could have focused a little bit more on O's and Forze instead of just... As much as I'll take a double section in a movie. I love double. I, I would have liked a little bit more Forze and O's and my Forze and O's movie. Yeah. And you haven't seen all of Forze, have you? No, I dropped it. Oh, that's a shame. Why? It, it, it gets good. It's, it's all warm and fuzzy feelings. Eh, I, I got really, really bored of it around the unicorn arc. It just seems they were really going through the motions there. Mm. I, I might give it another shot sooner. Always just make it a, mo- a um, watching day of the weekend for just all of us, just to watch on on certain on a certain app or something. Honestly, I would really like to do just a group watch of a show, just marathon it straight through. Yeah, we could do that. Just go to uh, as much as I'm going to hate saying this, kiss anime, kiss Asian, and just go through that. Or just like one holiday when like none of us have other things to do, just flop down and barrel through a show or a couple of movies. Yep. But uh, some other stuff about Shen. It did uh, did you think this movie was so so fucking eighties that Otoya was gonna pop up and hit on I? Mm, maybe, but this was made in the ni- in ninety two. It looks 80s as fuck. Did yeah. Japan have a part of the 90s that they thought were the 80s? Yes. Okay. Because it's got, like, women with the shoulder pads and shit. Yeah, have you seen stuff like uh, like Ooh. Car Ranger, Space uh, Mega Ranger, so on and so forth, maybe? Um, it's kind of like that. Really robot-y sound in there for a second. What, me? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not on the recording, it's just on my end. Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty much anything from Zoo Ranger to Mega Ranger. Yeah, they're stuck in the 80s for way too long, for longer than they're supposed to be. Um, uh, this, it's just, it's a weird movie. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but did anyone else think it's more than a little odd that we didn't get our first tension. We didn't see the main common Rider until 49 minutes in. Uh, yeah, that was... And it was, was an, it was an ugly goddamn tension we waited for. Oh, uh, yeah. He just goes bald all of a sudden. He gets a third eye. Just grows antenna. His legs just stretch out, mold off. The uh, villain transformation was really weird too, where he just like ripped off his face, and that's how he transformed. He ripped his skull open in half and shit. 
Yeah. Like, th- this movie could practically fit in with a, like, gore porn. Yeah. And yeah. Not, not everyone's down with that. I'm not. Like it's just so out of the normal for common writer that it's confusing at times. Yeah, and even through this movie was supposed to be the twentieth anniversary, it was a bit late by a year. Uh I just I I want answers. Like, did did he ever get a baby out of the dead chick? Because ba- babies babies don't grow that quick, and and once the woman's dead, you don't you don't get your baby back. Unfortunately, well, uh, my, my, my question is that with the insects, he's part grasshopper or whatever. Do grasshoppers like eat their mother, like spiders and that kind of shit, or how does that work? Oh, that's disgusting. Because <laughs> like they were talking about wasps, and then they were talking about grasshopper wasps being fucking telekinetic or something, and then grasshoppers ruling the world, and I'm like, what the sh? Shit is going on. It's kind. It's kind of like all the bats, bad ideas they had that they were going to put in for black just kind of shifted out to this guy. Uh, it's there's just so many things that I need answers to, and we'll never see answers because after this it goes straight to Zio, Zeto. Uh it, it it's just so, so fucking weird. Like, why do they keep referring to him as? It's a goddamn cyborg. What was cyborgy about him? I, I see more of like a uh, mutant. Mutant. He, he, he's uh, no, a, I, I thought I thought the whole the cyborgs were what they were creating before they created uh, the Kamen Rider version. That like what he was defeating at the end of the movie, like the two different ones were the cyborgs. Because like, the yeah, those guys like were they, cyborgs. They referred to him as a cyborg near the end of it. And, you know, like, that one dude had to have been a cyborg because he had a fucking bomb in his face. Well, this is pretty much the same problem with Amazon. He may not look like he's a cyborg, but he apparently is. Yeah. That's just weird. Also, is it because he's a bug that the girl got preggers and the baby became a thing so quick? Because they, they only banged, like, two days ago. Baby Babies don't happen that quick. That thing's probably still a zygote, or just coming out of that stage. Hmm. Yeah, the fact that she could, like, harness the powers of the baby, it was like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, when your prego girlfriend can make shit explode, never say anything to piss her off. Yeah, this... This movie was supposed to be getting getting a sequel, but it, it just got turned into Zeto. Like at this point, I would take a sequel over anything just to know what the fuck is going on. I, I, I don't like to bring this guy up, but during one of the uh, decayed shorts that would happen after the actual episode, there was an episode where Shin was trying to get a script to go through for for a sequel to his prologue movie. It was all a dream. That's sad. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind a straight-up movie writer that isn't connected to anything else just getting a much bigger budget and more care put into it, but not but not this. I, I'd want something else. Or I, mean, heck, I is... would take a, uh, like a, a, a novel version where we actually find out what the hell is actually going on and... Instead of the like, what the hell is going on? Probably the closest you're going to get is reading the Kamen Rider Black manga. That reminds me, I really need to look into where I can read some of the light novels released for Kamen Rider. Because I want to read the Kiva one, and I want to read the goddamn Kamen Rider Cyclone one. Uh, me too, but I, I'm having troubles finding those. I can find the Kamen Rider Spirits, the Black... Thing well, Spirits out. is even fully translated. If you look on like Amazon or um, Montre, you can find like Common Rider Spirits Volume 15 and higher, but the fan translation isn't isn't that far. I, I was going to say, is this going to be like JoJo's Part 4, Dwayne? What's that? Oh, right. Um, you, I haven't seen as much JoJo's. Um, pretty much... 
in part four in the part four manga, it took like I don't know twenty ten for a proper translation. Oh God. Yeah, and a lot of stuff was like really be- really poorly translated. That's, that's one of the phrase. One of the phrases was "This feels like a picnic." That's uh weird. Yeah. Th- and there's a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a guy that I know that I know that actually did some dubs for it. Did um the early JoJo's manga. When did they get officially translated? Because I didn't think they were for the longest time. Oh, they they got translated like through the nineties and su- and such, but they were really okay. poorly done. They didn't get a remaster to like twenty twenty twelve ish. Because I remember like reading and buying Shonen Jump manga, and I never saw JoJo's in stores until rather recently. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think we're all done talking about Shin, but we are not done yet. We have another Toku to talk about. Oh shit, we were actually supposed to start with this. <laughs> oh, oh well. We're flip- we're, well, <laughs> you think you can fi- fix it in post? It's fun. <laughs> well, because you wanted to go to bed earlier. earlier Oops. Than we, uh, it, it, it's before. okay. I, I played Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, we <laughs> kind of heard. <laughs> but, um, we actually wanted to have a miniature discussion on Power Rangers Dino Charge slash Kyoryu Dino Charge 2 slash Kyoryu your Brave. Dino Force. Dino Force. They, they, I actually just looked at a master list. They're all called something Force. Yeah, Force is a really prevalent lane in like American Power Rangers, but overseas, everything is a Force, which is Especially in Korea. Even if it doesn't make sense. Like Captain Force? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Captain Force. But, um, this is really different for just to a Sentai in total. It is a direct sequel done in a foreign country under the Power Rangers name with the aid and support of Bandai Japan. I don't think anything like this has ever happened. Yeah. I mean, we we have been running Power Rangers for, what, 20 years now? And we've never gotten anything like this. The closest we have had to anything like this is the Ju 2 footage. But the difference with Kyori Your Brave is they're getting redesigned suits. Japan is filming them new fight scenes. They're getting redesigned mechas, and the mechas are getting released in Japan and in um, Korea, and the show already is, has a planned dub. Ooh. Like, this is really, really different. And I, I, I want to see what happens. I want to see if it's, one, I, I think it'll be good. Two, I, it, it's supposed to be hella short. And three, if this does well, what does it mean for Tokusatsu? Does that mean Koreans are going to make their own Toku with the aid of Bandai, or they're going to keep doing these weird little sequel series? I yeah. would want to say maybe we're going to have something like three different kinds of Toku at a time, where it's like, yeah, we're going to have like three different kinds of Sentai. With 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 our Power Rangers, whatever's going to be coming up next, whatever Sentai is going to be coming up next, and whatever the Korean stuff is going to be coming up next, and like two different kinds of common writers with the uh, Amazon seasons coming out soon, and what's going to be coming out after X Aid, so on. But if they do do their own series from now on, is it always going to be with the help of Bandai as a sequel series? Because I'm fairly sure they're still going to be getting their dubbed Sentai stuff. Uh, um, I, I don't, I don't see them not dubbing Sentai anymore and just doing their own. But 
But what are they going to do? Are they going to be getting dubs of Sentai, as in Power Rangers Ninja Force, and then do their own sequel to it later? Hmm. But that would mean they were going to have five Red Rangers again in, uh, yeah. for one team. I, I like. I, I don't know where this goes. I'm really curious to see what happens from here. Yeah, and I would like to see that that uh, T Rex with the chain gun. Oh my god, Gatling face Gabutiera is my favorite thing. I never knew I needed in my life. I mean. Mm- most of the T-Rexes that we have, they usually have spitting tails. So help me God, if these figures are compatible with the original um, Jap- um, Japanese toys, which I think they're going to be, because Korea normally gets Bandai of J- uh, Japan figures just with lower sound volume and slightly different stuff like that. I'm going to be so happy if I can get Gatling Face Gabutiera and combine it with some of the other ones, or their fucking Chainsaw Stegochi. Like, you know how ha- happy I'm gonna be if they confuse? Like, I- I'm just gonna be a happy little fat Toku fan. Yeah. Andy? So, Man. I-, I-, I haven't really watched any Korean uh, Tokusatsu. How long is it gonna there take isn't before, any we actually, Korean before we tokusatsu. actually get, like, a sub-version of, of this? I think it. I'm not. Sure. I think it's gonna be subbed because TV uh, Nihon tends to sub fucking everything. No, I know they're gonna what. sub it into Japanese. Yeah, and if it's aired on Japanese TV, I, I, I I'm rather certain Nihon at least is going to fan translate it. But uh, it, it's just a whole very weird situation. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of hope I kind of hope this would lead into Korea possibly making their own kind of superhero franchise. Like to me, this almost seems like they're dipping their toes in the water, like their own like to, uh, Sentai made not necessarily with the maybe with the assistance of Bandai Japan and considered a full fledged Sentai. But like their own story, their own production, their yeah. own actors. Maybe BOJ helps them because they have the right beats. They use the Sentai moniker. But it's just where does this go, and what does this mean for Toku? If this does well enough, will we see Power Rangers reflecting this and doing sequel series of their own? Like, are we gonna get the footage from Kyoto Brave and make it into Dino Charge? Oh, oh, okay, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to say it's not going to happen. I know that you have that scene, the end not? of Dino. I know that you haven't seen the end of Dino Charge. It. I know the. I know what the ending is, but that doesn't mean they can't bullshit it. It is Hame Saban we're talking about. Yeah, right. Because he he is. They've had so many continuity errors. There's so many con- to put away that uh, Chris uh, Chris Kerberfer put it. Do you know how many continuities in the show there are already? Yeah, like just because it's a continuity error wouldn't stop them from doing it if they see toy money. I mean, right now we got two Tommy Olivers floating around in time and space. Mm-hmm. Like. I I really want to know. I want this to do good because I want to see what it means to Toku. Because this is so out of left fucking field that it could be anything. Well, for anybody in the world, it could be a good thing. Yeah, get, get some... and it looks good. Like from everything, all the little clips we've seen. I like the jackets. I I always love it when they do team jackets. Yeah, I mean the last time that we saw that in Power Rangers was, I want to say Wild Force. I was about yeah, to say I think Wild. They Force. had jackets. It's either Wild Force, SPD, or God forbid, Operation Overdrive. I don't think Overdrive did. I don't know. I uh, I watched 
part of Overdrive with my son, but I didn't pay attention because it's really bad. I actually found out the end of that show this last week. I'll never watch it. Even if it was the only thing on TV, I will Operation Overdrive. Isn't the ending of it just him accepting he's a goddamn robot or something yeah. else? No, no, he's no, a robot. No, well, yeah, he's a robot, but uh, um, you know, you know, you know the movie Pinocchio, right? Did yeah. they make him a real boy? Really? Did he get eaten by a gigantic whale? It sounds right. He he became that a real make, boy. That, that fucking makes it worse. That yeah. makes it worse. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Why? At least have him accept being the fucking robot and taking some sort of robo pride in it. No, he got apparently he just got severely hurt or I mean severely damaged. So they used their great power MacGuffin thing that they've been for, fighting for this entire time to make him a real boy. Yeah, I stand by my statement. I'll but, never. But watch if you're it. a robot, you can tell people to bite your shiny metal. Yeah. Now, if he, if he were Bender. That would be different. <laughs> uh, Bender as a as a ranger would be weird, but, but hilarious. Common rider alcoholic. <laughs> yes. Common rider hops and barley. <laughs> <laughs> and he oh that's amazing. Well, sometimes I pull something good Common out. Common rider ethanol. Yeah. Not that good. I'm sorry. No. Eh. Because when I think es- ethanol, I think corn. Corn whiskey's delicious. I would have not. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I well, any, much any I whiskey will. is delicious. True. Uh, yeah. But me and uh, Sumo were talking yesterday about the fact that, like, I would pay for a Toei to create a app where we could actually, like, stream all the Tokusatsu series they have, and then just I'd be willing to pay a monthly fee for this stuff. Like, oh, I'd, I'd easy pay ten or twelve dollars for that. Uh, easy. Well, I, I, it's called Crunchy well, Roll. I would, yeah, well, like, I have Crunchy Roll, but I'm talking Sentai and yeah, they only do Ultraman like, for some reason. I'm so I so hope one day Crunchy Roll gets the rights to get um other Tokusatsu things because they have Ultraman, and to me that was an a really surprising twist that they got the rights to Ultraman. Yeah, that's, even to the new guy, not, Ultraman that, Orb. That's not that popular in America, or at least no. yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure it's more popular, more around the world. Because I was going to say the same thing that, it, like, I I knew who Ultraman was when I was a kid. Yeah, me but too. But it, it wasn't on level of like Godzilla or. Power Rangers or anything like no. that. I mean, w- the first time I saw Ultraman was when the Fox Kids shifted over to Fox Box, and they had that morning show where, where it was the Ultraman, where he had different, he had two different color was, modes. Was it Tiga? He, he was he was red and blue, and he was switched between blue and red. Red and blue was like the balance mode. Blue was like the speed mode and energy projection, and red was the powerhouse. I hmm. think that was Tiga. Because I remember hearing on Fox, Ultraman Tiga, but I never watched it. Yeah, Is it Tiga or Tiga? I, I remember Tiga. hearing Tiga. Yeah. Because, like, normally Tiga is a Japanese name, but well, they uh, might not have said it right. Mandela Effect. God damn it. But, but no, I, uh, one of the things I want to see, though, is yes, now Crunchyroll has Ultraman. Well,. Gridman is Super Raya also. Why don't we get some uh, Gridman? I, I would love to watch Gridman. Gridman. Um, you guys did know that about a year and a half ago that Japan was trying to do their own subscription service where they would air Japanese TV shows, including Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, for, I think, 14 bucks a month. But here was the catch. For the first year, nothing was going to be subbed. And they said, if it's successful... For one year, we will officially sub stuff and air it. But because nothing was subbed in the first year, it fucking crashed and burned. Fuck, I just would have paid for the year and just ate it up. 
Like, a lot of people were like that. I personally didn't have the money to throw at not being able to understand what the fuck I'm watching and still getting fan subs. But they, they tried, and it, it, it colossally tanked. I think it was canceled three months later because of lack of interest. Well, uh, if I had known about it, I would have done it. But they have to let people know. Otherwise, they aren't going to do it. I, I Like, a lot of people in the fandom knew, but I think the fact that you had to wait a full year before anything was translated hurt them a lot. Like, that's to the point where you're spending a hunt, like, two, three hundred dollars, about, like, two hundred and forty bucks or something, and you're still downloading fan subs. But, I, I like, in the end, it would have helped. Helped, but so many people weren't willing to put that much money down to get official subs. And I remember people talking like Nihon said, if this takes off and it works, we will step down and we will no longer sub the shows. Hmm. To which some people in the fandom cried out a joy that, you know, horrible TV Nihon would never, you know, touch their toku in ways they don't appreciate. But I was just like, this is amazing, but they should have d- done the subs officially first. Yeah. Not I mean, having the subs hurt that, like, ruined it. Yeah, you were, and you guys were right. It was Ultraman Tiga that showed up on uh, the Fox box. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember hearing about it as a kid, but never watching it. Like, yeah. I knew it I knew it was like Power Rangers, but that, that didn't... It was Power Rangers without the Megazord. Because the dude was the Megazord. Yeah. Ugh. So, yeah, we do oh. like to see more of this global t- toku rip, well, not necessarily rip off, but more of continuation. It, like, officially supported other, con- other countries getting official support for their tokusatsu stuff. Yeah. Well, more than America is. Yeah. Well, even us, we get support from Japan, but we don't get them helping us redesign mechas and redesigning all the suits for a sequel series. That is a big new thing. Yeah. We're, most of our stuff is made out of cardboard. Or we commissioned the Ju 2 footage, which we haven't commissioned any new footage in a while. I mean, now we can get the suits and shoot it on our own, but... Getting yeah. them to agree to make us new footage is so special to me. Because that shows an amount of respect on both sides. Yeah, because we haven't had that since, well, Mighty Morphin, I believe. Wait, didn't they shoot some new stuff for some of the um, recent Ranger series, but we can get the suits now and we do it on our own? I think it was like probably for Mega uh, Mega Force. I think, I guess, I know for a fact we shot some stuff for Mega Force. But, um, I always thought we shot some stuff for some, uh, like the, um, Shin Kenja movie, Battle of the Red Rangers, because I could have sworn there was footage in there that I didn't recognize. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they, re- we had to redo that because, well, they, we couldn't get all, they, for Ranger, for the Rangers, we couldn't get all of them. We can only get the, vo- uh, man, what's his name? The red, the red guy's um, voice, because he was like a screen actor guild actor at that point. Yes. And, um. So Bond does not work with like Essex SAG actors, even though that 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 guarantees you get paid well for what you're doing. Yeah. Just goes to show how uh, how much Bond loves their uh, people. Yeah. So, is this all we can say about the what ifs and world toku? Yeah. Like, I do want to do a, a new segment, maybe middle of the week, just a short five, ten minute thing and put it up a lot. Well, like, we can still edit it, but it'll just be a lot more brawl. Because I want it to, it's news, you want to get it out there quicker. Yes. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just have to remember. Be gentle. Well, it'll be a lot shorter too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, but um, we, and we could just record through Audacity and just go on. I really, there. I really think that'll help quite a bit. God damn it! 
I, I, I really hope Kyoryu's Your Brave does well, because I, w- I want to see what it leads to. I don't really see why it wouldn't do well. Agreed. Unless it's just a steaming pile of shit, but I, I think you would know that from the beginning. It, yeah. it looks good. It does. I, I saw a trailer for it, had a couple fight scenes, Megazord fight. It looks Sentai. Like, they dance well, which is a thing that Kyoto Ugers do. They definitely do the dance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am a little sad that they don't have any doofy rangers, but the concept of an older weird guy doesn't really exist in Korea. You're either really hot or you don't exist. Yeah. Are you well. hot or are you not? Well, if you're not hot, you're not famous in Korea. It's as simple as that. You can't be a, a cute dork with fluffy hair. There's no no san in Korea. <laughs> no no san. And of course, we're talking about the Kyoryuger Blue, not our no san. Well, I mean, he is Kyoryuger Blue. Though. Oh, uh, I, I thought we were talking about. <laughs> so th- we're done we can sign off yeah this has been yeah I believe so this has been co- uh, Writers of the Lost Zor talking about Kamen Rider Shin the movie prologue too many titles and the Kiryu Brave slash Power ri- Brave Korean Toku thing Disregard all of that and just remember an apple is still just an apple. Oh, you um, changed it up. I was about to say that's different. There.